Alright, so I just wanted to share with you guys a, a little article I found in uh, the MX. It says, Hangover, Hangover Doc has fried egg on his mind. The article reads, Some swear by the hair of their dog, others by a strong black coffee. But the best way to cure a hangover is to tuck into a fried, uh, fried breakfast, a leading researcher claims. Keyword there, claims. Richard Stevens, professor of psychology, psychology, not nutrition, interesting, at Kiel University in the UK says that carbohydrates in a full English breakfast of fried eggs, eggs have literally no carbohydrates, uh, probably like a gram, sausages, still no carbohydrates, uh, and baked beans, yes, they do have carbohydrates. And all the rest, they don't even mention the rest, in fact, they don't even mention the food with the most carbohydrates, which was the bread. And all the rest will help you restore depleted sugar levels. <laughs> Interesting. So they're talking about foods like fried eggs, sausages, and baked beans restoring uh, sugar levels. Yet, these foods are all low in sugar. Now, granted, the baked beans have a bit of sugar. They have a bit of starch. But really, the bread is the main source of carbohydrates in this meal. Uh, speaking ahead of the annual meeting of the International Alcohol Hangover Research Group, he said the best hangover cures were those that provided glucose. Now, you know what provides glucose? Fruits, whole grains, uh, vegetables, legumes. What don't provide carbohydrates? Animal foods. I mean, to say that fried eggs, sausages and baked beans, a full English breakfast will help restore uh, depleted sugar levels. Well, yes, it will, but it's probably not the healthiest way to do it, is it? One of the mechanisms of the hangover is to do with glucose metabolism and not having enough blood sugar, he said. Interesting, so basically what they're saying is you should have a lot of glucose, a lot of sugar in your diet in order to fix the hangover. Yet they mention only one food with carbohydrates in it and at that it doesn't really have that many carbohydrates in it. And they should have mentioned bread or fruits or any other number of foods that actually has carbohydrates in it. Pretty sure this was written with a lot of bias. I've never seen such a shit article in my life. I really haven't. That's why I had to share it because I really haven't seen a worse article. Well, yes, I have, and it was in this paper, but I haven't. Um, I didn't show you guys because uh, I chucked it out actually. But it was about fat shaming, and they contradicted themselves. So see this paper, the MX. It's rubbish. It's crap, and you get it on the train every day. And it's owned by Rupert Murdoch. If you're going to read it, be very skeptical.